Did you know that Rwanda's coffee beans are among the most highly awarded in the world? Known for their distinct flavor profiles, these beans are not just a product of ideal growing conditions, but a result of over a century of cultivation and community-driven innovation. But what exactly makes Rwandan coffee stand out? And how did this small nation recover from one of the darkest periods in its history to become a global coffee leader? Rwanda's geography plays a crucial role in the quality of its coffee. Situated just south of the equator, Rwanda's high altitudes and volcanic soil create ideal conditions for coffee beans that develop depth and balance. Many of the country's coffee farms are positioned over 1,500 meters above sea level, an essential factor for producing beans with the acidity and body that coffee enthusiasts seek. But it's not just the elevation. Rwanda benefits from a stable, equatorial climate with two rainy seasons per year, allowing coffee plants to develop slowly and intensify their flavor. Combined with the mineral-rich volcanic soil, these conditions provide the perfect environment for producing some of the world's most sought-after beans. Rwanda's coffee story began in the early 1900s under German colonial rule, when coffee was introduced as a cash crop. Following Germany's defeat in World War I, Rwanda came under Belgian control. In 1919, Belgium was officially mandated to govern Rwanda by the League of Nations, and they significantly expanded coffee production. Under Belgian control, Rwanda's coffee production focused on low-quality Arabica, prioritizing quantity over quality. Farmers were required to grow coffee, but the infrastructure needed for high-end production remained underdeveloped. For much of the 20th century, Rwanda's coffee remained a commodity product, with little presence in the global specialty market. The beans were predominantly Arabica, but without the meticulous care required to produce the high-quality, distinctive flavors that Rwanda is known for today. In 1994, the Rwandan genocide devastated the country, leaving much of its population and infrastructure in ruins. The coffee industry, like many other sectors, was severely impacted, with agricultural infrastructure destroyed and vital knowledge lost. This crisis left Rwanda's economy and coffee sector in a state of collapse. However, in the years following the genocide, Rwanda made a remarkable recovery. With international aid and support, the country shifted its coffee focus. Instead of low-quality production, Rwanda began cultivating high-grade Arabica, specifically the Bourbon variety. Smallholder farmers and cooperatives were trained in specialty coffee production, and investments were made in processing infrastructure, like washing stations, to elevate the quality of the beans. This shift from quantity to quality positioned Rwanda as a serious player in the global specialty coffee market. Today, Rwanda's Bourbon Arabica is celebrated globally, with the coffee sector symbolizing the country's resilience and recovery. If you're enjoying this, feel free to hit the like button, maybe drop a comment, and if you don't want to miss future videos, the subscribe button and notification bell are right there. Rwanda's coffee thrives in some of the most unique growing conditions in the world. Its high altitude farms, many perched between 1,500 and 2,000 meters above sea level, offer ideal conditions for Arabica coffee. The combination of cool nights and warm days allows the beans to mature slowly, enhancing their flavor profile. At the heart of Rwanda's coffee production is the Bourbon Arabica variety, a crop that flourishes in the country's high altitude regions. Bourbon is known for its bright acidity, with notes of red fruit and citrus and floral undertones. Rwanda's network of washing stations plays a central role in shaping the final product. These stations are essential to the wet processing method, which creates a clean and bright coffee free from impurities. Each bean is carefully washed, fermented and sorted, a process that enhances the clarity and depth of the flavors while preserving the inherent qualities unique to Rwanda's coffee growing regions. In recent years, some producers have begun experimenting with natural and honey processing techniques. These methods, which involve drying the beans with varying amounts of fruit pulp intact, introduce more complex fruit forward profiles, offering consumers a richer diversity of taste experiences. Coffee plays a pivotal role in Rwanda's economy, contributing significantly to the country's GDP and providing livelihoods for hundreds of thousands of smallholder farmers. Over the years, coffee exports have become a key driver of Rwanda's economic growth, with the country gaining recognition for its high-quality production. However, challenges remain. Global price volatility can significantly impact the incomes of smallholder farmers. As Rwanda, like many coffee-producing nations, is dependent on international markets. 
Fluctuations in global coffee prices can make it difficult for farmers to maintain stable earnings. In response to these pressures, Rwanda has sought to build stronger relationships with international buyers, focusing on direct trade models that often bypass middlemen. These efforts have aimed at ensuring more transparent pricing and giving farmers a clearer understanding of market demands. In recent years, coffee has also become a significant part of Rwanda's tourism industry. Visitors can explore coffee farms, witnessing firsthand how beans are grown, harvested and processed by local farmers. These tours offer a deeper understanding of how smallholder cooperatives operate and the meticulous care involved in bringing Rwandan coffee to market. Rwanda has successfully integrated coffee tourism with local production, offering visitors an authentic connection to its coffee-making heritage while supporting local farmers. As Rwanda's coffee industry continues to grow, it faces both opportunities and challenges. The country is well positioned to further cement its reputation in the specialty coffee world, with rising global demand for high-quality, single-origin coffees. However, significant challenges lie ahead. Climate change is already affecting coffee production worldwide, and Rwanda is no exception. Shifts in rainfall patterns, rising temperatures, and increased occurrences of pests and diseases, such as coffee leaf rust, pose real threats to Rwanda's smallholder farmers. To counter these risks, research into more resilient coffee varieties is underway, with an emphasis on finding solutions that maintain the high-quality standards Rwanda is known for. Additionally, the Rwandan government has introduced policies aimed at strengthening the coffee sector, focusing on supporting farmers with training, infrastructure and access to international markets. Despite the challenges, Rwanda's coffee industry remains resilient and its future looks promising. With a focus on innovation, sustainability and maintaining quality, Rwanda is poised to remain a key player in the global coffee landscape, continuing to produce exceptional coffee that reflects both the country's heritage and its forward-thinking approach. And now, YouTube thinks this should be the next video you watch. Click here to learn more about Bourbon Coffee, Rwanda's signature variety.